Cornwall's father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins, just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. Tunnels, if you ask me. What choice do we have? At least this way, they'll leave us be. They killed one of their own! What's to stop them from splitting our skulls as well? Because they fear us, see? No one takes us for fools, you got it. <laughs> Remember, God punishes those who wish ill upon... ...upon... Go on. Ill upon who? Eh? Oh, sorry, I ran miles away with you. Tunnels run deep. Was the ultimate fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln?
more Mercians traipsing across our routes. Can't piss from here to Bolingbroke without someone demanding some ungodly deal. All this traffic has made smuggling a difficult job. Keep my eyes open. fighting here. About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. Bandits didn't fare so well. A noble's cloak, with the image of a swan. Looks like the ultimate passed this way. Saxon nobleman paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbrook Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the Elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbrook Castle. That's my best lead.
Stretch your wings, Sunan. Surveying the area, Sunan. <laughs> I'm on the right track. That keep is well protected. Hunbeor is his own prisoner. He's an ill man, leave him be. Besides, we ain't got it too rough. We can hunt in the wolds of Lindsay and whore in Botolston. <laughs> too right, too right. I've gone done with idle time. Grab some ale and let's skin some animals later. No, he's scared, you yellow dog! prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman?
This biscuit has been dry for some time, sister. How long has the Elderman been dead? Dead is such a drastic word. I like to think of my lord as... transformed. That's not untrue. Have you need of anything? I've seen all I need to. But Hunbold will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects. Though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. A box of musty clothing. And a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Humboldt and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. What news? Your father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiov's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong, a pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... he... <laughs> Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer! Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son! Do not forget it! That a son has lost his father is always a cause for sadness. But your shire has also lost its elderman. That is a cause for worry. ...and often war. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... ...I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. You need a new elderman here. And it falls to King Cheowulf to make that choice. For once we find agreement, Eivor. The nobles here will convene a shy mood to select a new candidate. The winner will stand before the king for approval. Explain how this works, your Shire Moot. Our Moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a Moot. But between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Someone in the Shire wants Hunbald dead. If I have to assemble an army to make sure this meeting is not an ambush, I will. The Shire Mood is a lawful, godly assembly. Hunwald will be safe, as will you be. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. 
Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. Do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ our pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes. Quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. With Hunbiolf's death an open secret, Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. But you went to console him. I should follow her. Archer, where is Hunwald? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road, to the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. I have better people to speak to. Wallow in your self-made grief, Ebus. Go then. Why linger here? Do you see? <laughs> that must be the tree Archer mentioned. These woods Humboldt may be nearby. Oh, these woods. <laughs> What a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unbold. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate... Contemplate... Contemplate the view. Let's have a drink. To the memory of your father. Go a sailing among the leaves so green. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. 
but let your aching love light the mead of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To this great land that bore you. It was here long before your father, and it'll be here long after he's gone. Skull! Skull! <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should. Visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, G Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come. <laughs> Now come, and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor... Full, why come to England at all? Ah, uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! Ah, very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish, inexperienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor! Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh, quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Eivor, I am sweating from pit to toe. Do not leave me here. Hush, stay calm. Hey, what the... Wait! Ah! <gasps> <gasps> 
Tired of fight, Hunwald! Now! That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed. We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. I'm serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me. Hunwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. You really have been courting a Dane. It's a side of you I didn't expect. People say we're an odd couple. I do not care much what people say. As every boat needs an anchor, every man needs his Swanborough. The light of my life. Eivor has been my champion as I stake my claim in Lincolnshire. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Rest, Hunwald. By sunrise you'll have shed all your tears and pissed out the last of the ale. Eivor is right, Hunwald. Tomorrow is a new day. Yes. Yes, resting next to my angel will heal all that is broken within me. Be well, Eivor. And thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it.
What is it? A fight? Eivor, welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Uh, yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort. ...before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. Does this belong to the Elderman? Shouldn't it go to Hunwald next? I suppose so. But I thought you a more fitting recipient. You'd know how to use it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god, uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Hunwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived, not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Elfgard? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. Wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right. Very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. Don't be frightened, Grim, but I believe Elfgard has arranged for us to meet. Oh, goodness, I've been discovered. But it's nothing untoward, I promise. 
I'm an honest man, and I believe that all people should live together in harmony. That's all. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear. That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God <laughs> shall provide. Have no worry. This is the threshold of the beast's home. There's no doubting that. That's not a bear. Wolves. Ah, wolves. Ravenous throats. like a twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough, and I can't tell you how to handle this, but... Please! My God, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you. A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me. My people are fleeing! They must get to safety! Someone waited until you were away to set your world aflame. I'll send them straight to hell! The marauding bastards! The cross! The field rest! They're bad in the floor! no good if there's no way oh, Men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Elfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toil of... <laughs> Heaven! The bear is returned! The Shire Moon will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Away, beast! 